What's going on people and welcome back to Bruce TV. I hope the holiday season is treating you all well. Today's game takes us to the North West Counties Football League between Pilgerton FC and Baker Borough from their first division. It's got everything that you need from a midweek non-league game. Goals, drama and the occasional swear word here and there too. So don't forget to smash the like button, comment and subscribe and let's get into this. Pilgerton in green to kick off, kicking from right to left, back with a number four, he passes it back to his centre half, who looks to pump in long and he does, looking for that far right position, but goes out for a throw in. Back with Pilgerton's number three now, he just passes it inside to his number six, who just gets clipped and brought down by the Baker up midfielder and the referee's awarded a free kick early doors. Just taking another look at it, yeah, I think the referee is right to give a foul there. And I think that's the sign of things to come. Free kick to be taken by Bakup's goalie, who pumps it long, looking for the head of his striker, who heads it down. And the ball falls kindly to number two, but well won back by Pilgrim's number six, bombing on forwards, pass one. Lays it off to number nine on the wing. Puts it into the box, but easily taken by Bakup's goalie. Back with number 10 for Pilgerton. Plays it to that far side. Plays it inside to number four. But well won back by Bakup, driving forwards. Number six takes him out. He protests he wants the ball. He's adamant he wins the ball, or has won the ball, but the referee feels otherwise. Free kick to be taken by Bakup on the halfway line. Pumps it long to this near side, but well cut out by Pilgerton's left back. Ball falls nicely to Bakup's midfielder, but Good interception there by Pilgrim's number six, who drives forward, who plays it inside to number seven. Number seven looking for that through ball, but doesn't get it. Good tackle there by Bakup, centre half. Tells him to get up. The referee has pulled it back. And number 11's distraught for Bakup as they're away. I'm not too sure about that one. Let's take another look at it. So I think the tackle was clean, but I think the number seven went down. And something must have been said off the ball there because number seven's ended up in the book despite being taken down. Free kick to be taken by Bakup's goalie. He pumps it long, looking for that far side. Headed away by Pilgerton. Headed back by Bakup. Brought down onto the green stuff. And who would the ball fall kindly for? Number back with number 10 now for Pilkerton, who's pressured by number eight. And a sliding challenge in the back there and oh! What will the referee do here? Both players are still down on the floor. Number eight's risen to his feet now. Let's take another look at it. The challenge was initially there by Bacon's number eight. Ooh, there it is. The challenge was initially made by Bakup's number eight on Pilgrim's number 10. And as both players drop to the floor, he headbutts him in the, in the lower region for any kids watching. And I think it might be an early bar for Bakup's number eight. And here it is. You can't be putting your head there, son. So Bakup now down to 10 men, very early on into the game. And as we're back now with Bakup's goalie, playing with only 10 men, pass intercepted by number six for Pilkington. Good tackle by Bakup's midfielder there, but the ball falls kindly to Pilkington, out on that far side now. Passes it inside, looking for the one-two, but doesn't receive it. Well won back by Pilkington. Number six just battling on it, on the ball. Good challenge there by number 11. Unfortunately not. And a free kick's been awarded to Pilkington. Number 10 just helping up his man, gives him a slap for good measure. And I think that's going to be another card. Let's take another look at it. Number six on the ball for Pilkington. Sliding challenge from the back from number 11, but doesn't win it clean. And the yellow card's been awarded to Bakup's number 11. Back now with Pilkington's number five now, edging past the halfway line, passes it to number six and receives it again, looking for his options. Clips a lovely through ball to number six, who brings it down one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And a great stop by the keeper there. And number four, I think cheekily back passes it to the goalie, but gets away with it. Pilgerton just easing past the halfway line. 
into number seven. Oh, another crunching challenge there. This time by Bacob's number four on number seven. And he's going to be feeling that one. Let's take another look. Oh, there it is. Number four protests his innocence that he tackled from the side, but it looks more from the back. And if you want any proof that this was a heated game, listen to this. Give him a red ref. And you see there number four looking up just to make sure it wasn't a red. His team already down to 10 men. They can't afford to lose another. Corner kick to Pilkington. In swinger, left footed. On the head of number seven. Drops to number 11. And kicked away there by Bakup. And there goes the half time whistle. And it's nil nil. Bakup down to 10 men and just hanging on for dear life. Well, that was an interesting half. An arguable red card decision. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. About 0% actual football played in the first 45 minutes, but I can assure you that's just about to change. Back to the action. Time for the second half. Baker been white to kick off. Kicking from right to left this time. Back with number 10, he passes it to that far side. He then lays it inside to number 10. Plays it inside to his striker, number seven. Then lays it off to that far side. Lovely little one, two there but booted away by Pilkington, up to number seven. Number four for Pilkington, stops the ball, looks for his options as he edges past the halfway line, passes it to number nine. He's taken out by number four for Baker, but the referee's having none of it. He lays it inside to number six, just on the halfway line. He then lays it off to his winger. He then lays it inside, he's taken out, but number nine drives forward, play on, says the referee. Number three looking for it, screaming for it. And number two cuts it out for Pilkington, who then catches his own player in the midriff and goes down as a result. So the referee's bringing it back for a free kick. Free kick to Bacup now. Fizzed in and a great stop there by Pilgerton's goalie. Well hit that one. Corner kick to Bacup, swung into the box. Looking to get someone on the end of it and they do. And it's one nil to Bacup, number five. Against the run of play, Bacup down to 10 men and they managed to take the lead. And number five from the back, posting in, slots it home to put the wayside 1 0 up. Shit the fuck down. Shit the fuck down. Woo! Well, well, well. Pilgrim's number four now at the back. Ops to go long down that far side now. Look for his man. Can he keep it in? Yes, he does. All into the box. Ooh, and number seven gets his head onto it, but taken out by the Pilgerton midfielder, number seven. You can have a look at it. And I think that was seven on seven action. And Baycup's number seven comes off worse. Referee waves it away though. No car brandish this time. Pilgerton now looking for that equaliser. Great through ball there. Falls kindly to number 10 on that far side. Great cross into the box and number seven just fails to get his head on it, or anything on it, to equalise. And the referee there just hurrying up. Bacon's goalie is obviously looking to waste time. Still down to 10 men despite being 1-0 up. Number four now for Pilgrimson driving forward, looking for his options. Lays it inside to number seven. He then jinx passes, man, like he wasn't even there. See you later, number 10. But a poor pass cut out by Bacup's number five. But number seven receives it again. But Bacup put it out for a throw. Great piece of skill there. Bacup's number four now. Looking to go long once again down that far side. But well cut out by Bacup's defender. Well headed on. Back into the path of Bacup's winger. He cuts inside. Lays it inside to number seven. Tries to go for the one-two. But well cut out by Pickleton. We're back with Bacup now. Would they get a shot off? They do. And a great opportunity there but well stopped by the keeper. Pilgrim's number three, edging forward. Chips a lovely ball into his striker, but he skipped chest day. But the ball falls kindly to number six now for Pilgrimson, edging forward. Number 10 lays off to his winger. Will he get it back? He does, and the ball goes wide. 
And a golden opportunity there. Goes begging. And number 10 knows he should have put that in the back of the net. Another corner kick to Baker, up in swinger. Number five heads it and it's in the back of the net. And the referee has waved it away. Straight away. He must have seen something we didn't. Let's take another look at it. Ball into the box. Ah, oh, and there it was. The little push in the back there on number six. Push in the back. Heading into the back of the net. But the referee spotted it with his eagle eye. And it still remains 1-0 to Baker. Back with Pilgrim's number six now. He tries to jink inside, but well won by Baker's number nine, who lays off to number 10 now. He drives forward and taken out there by Pilgrim's number six, who protests his innocence once again. Gives it the bunny hop. Gives it another bunny hop. But the referee's not having it. Another bunny hop. All I did, ref, was bunny hop. That's all I did. Of course he did, son. <laughs> Back now with Pilgrim to number three now, who opts to go long down that far inside. But well cut out there by Baker's number two, who keeps it in there, but the ball falls kindly to number six for Pilgrimson, who pirouettes past one. Tries to be taken up by number 11 and then goes in a bit too robustly on Baker's defender. And the referee's once again surrounded like bees to honey. And the number four still feeling the effects of it on the floor as the referee keeps his cards in his pocket. Pilgrim centre half now looking for his options, driving into Bacup's half. Who passes it to the winger on this near side. Who gets the ball into the box. Number seven, number nine, and they both miss it. And hooked away by Bacup for another throw. Another golden opportunity missed. Number five now for Pilgrim, edging forward. Who lays it off to number three. He lays it back to number five for Pilgrimson. Who lays it to number seven in the middle of the park. Who goes for a shot. And I think that's damaged one of Karen's gnomes in her front garden. Number three for Pilgrimson now. Driving forward. Looking for number 10. But number 10 for Baker wins it back. Well won. Looking for his options. Number 11 tries to win it back for Pilgrimson but doesn't. And it's laid off now to number seven for Baker. One on one. What will he do? Tries to go for the shot, well blocked by number five for Pilgerton. And Pilgerton win it back now. Looking for that equaliser, number 11. Tries to drink past his man. And taken out there by the Baker player, number 10. Who said he won the ball. But I don't know what ball he was looking at. Pilgerton now. Lays it off to number five. Campton Baker's half. Who lays it off. And it falls to... Their striker, who lays it off once again, gets a shot off, and they're back in it, it's 1-1. Pilgerson have equalised. And after all the pressure that they've applied in the second half, they get exactly what they deserve. Back quickly into the action now. The ball's at number 17's feet for Pilgerson, gets a strike off, and they've taken the lead, it's 2-1. What a strike. The goalkeeper would not have been able to see any of that. As we take another look at the replay, so many bodies obstructing his vision, trying to block the shot, and number 17 has snatched it at the death for Pilkington. 2-1. And it looks like a yellow card's been brandished for one of the subs for Pilkington during the melee of celebrations. And the ball's pumped long by Bacob's goalie. They have to go for it now, despite the 10 men. Kept on by Pilgerton's right back, who then plays it down this near side for number 12, who then pumps it out of the park unnecessarily. And I think that's another fine coming his way. Yeah, it is. Just in time for Christmas. Throw on taken by Bacob's number six now to number 15. And there goes the full-time whistle. Pilgerton have snatched it at the death. Thanks to a late winner from Yasin Yamazu, and the three points go back home with Pilgerton.
Well, there you have it. Pilks in FC 2, Baker Borough 1. The Pilks snatch out of the death. Baker will feel hard done by for not holding on to their lead despite being down to 10 men and their second goal being chalked off for a push. All in all, an entertaining game from the northwest of England. As always, a big shout out goes to Jason from MOTJ Goals. The work he puts in should at least be rewarded with your support on social. So please don't forget to follow him. If you made it this far in the video, thank you all for watching. I've been Ruth, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in a bit.